So let's talk about the best chat GPT-4 prompt for copywriting. In case you haven't seen any of my other videos, all throughout whenever I'm talking about something headline or copywriting related, this is my absolute favorite headline formula ever. Just because it's a headline doesn't mean you can't use it in other various aspects for copywriting and marketing and so on and so forth. So in the beginning, what we want to tell chat GPT to do is use this headline formula. So it is how to big benefit here without doing something that the audience doesn't want to do here. So shorter, I think Frank Kern once called it how to yay without boo. <laughs> okay. So how to do something they really want and without doing something they really hate. Okay. Does that make sense? So we're telling it to use this. And then what we want to do is give me 10 different headlines talking about a specific goal. This can be edited that individuals want. So I'm going to do a few different examples with different niches. So let's change this here. Actually, I'm just going to copy all of this because I'll probably, you know, do a few and just repaste it in. So talking about, so building an online business that will just say like entrepreneurs. This is just a way of adding a little bit more context. So for example, let's say someone wanted to lose weight, you know, that could be kind of anyone, but if you really want to narrow it down, say like, you know, women who have just finished pregnancy, like it, it's more niche down. So I could probably just take out this section for this one, which I think I'm going to do. So give me 10 different headlines talking about building an online business. And of course, we're going to be using this headline formula, which is something I like. And I will talk over this until it's done, just because I want to give you some context. This is a headline I remember um, last time I did Facebook ads for cold traffic. I split tested using a the how to yay without boo formula. And eventually when I got the best one, I think it was around like a 77 or 78 percent opt in on cold traffic on Facebook. So it just goes to show you that it works very well. And this was a headline I used on my landing page. It was a squeeze page. So it had like a pre headline before it. It had the headline call to action button two step opt in, you know, click it enter your email and go from there. So we have 10 right here how to create a thriving online business without spending a fortune on marketing. So this is the benefit. This is what they want without, you know, losing your shirt, right? Just another way of saying it, right? How to build a successful online empire without sacrificing your work life balance. Okay. So this is the good thing because there's going to be a wide varieties and some individuals might not care about sacrificing their work life balance. Some might not care about spending a fortune. It's always going to be dependent on your niche and audience. So something to keep in mind, generating passive income streams without being glued to your computer 24 seven, how to attract loyal customers without resorting to pushy sales tactics, how to scale your online business without hiring a massive team, how to establish a powerful brand presence without spending years on trial and error, how to master SEO without becoming a tech wizard, how to develop high converting sales funnels without drowning, drowning in complex analytics, how to create engaging content without being a professional copywriter. That's cool. How to outsmart your competition without breaking your budget on advertising. I like that one. It's all about like resourcefulness and creativity, right? So what I can actually do here is to expand upon this before I do like a different example in a different niche is to find one and reword it multiple times because say you come up with a headline that you like. This was the example with my Facebook ad. I came up with something and then I found multiple ways of rewording it. Ironically enough, you can have the same headline, but just stated in a different way. And there's going to be one that usually stands out. And that's what we want to do here. So let's look at this. Let's do take this headline and reword it. Uh, let's just say five different ways. Okay. So we want the same idea. We just want to stay at it a little bit differently. Okay. So let's see what comes up with here. So we said how to create engaging content. So how to produce captivating content without a professional copywriting background, master the art of crafting compelling content without formal copywriting training. Now, something you'll notice here is because I wasn't specific enough. We didn't have the how to without here, but it did rewrite it. So if we wanted to go with something like that, where it doesn't have to be the same formula, you know, we can utilize these, but let's change it up here. And let's see, let's copy this. Using the same formula above and enter. 
All right, so how to captivate your audience with enticing content without attending expensive copywriting courses. There we go. Notice how we're getting the how to, okay, without, there's that one. Craft irresistible content without spending years mastering copywriting tech te techniques, excuse me. How to produce compelling content without relying on overused copywriting templates. Hey, some templates are great. How to write attention grabbing articles without dedicating endless hours to copywriting practice. And how to generate share worthy content without hiring a pricey copy copywriting expert. So that was great. And you'll notice the difference is just a little bit extra here. So I talked about like rewording it, but I wasn't specific enough about using the how to without headline formula. I did it in this one and that's exactly what we got. So let's go back here. Let's do another example. All right. So the same thing here, what I did is just change it around. So I said, give me 10 different headlines talking about, so losing weight is going to be the big benefit. We're also talking about how it's going to be for busy small business owners. So we have a little bit more context. So if it was for anyone, it could obviously be much more broad, but obviously with a small business owner, you might think they have a lot less time. They're busy, you know, they're quote unquote chained to their computer, whatever the situation is going to be. So now that we have some context, this is going to be the same here. We're telling chat GPT just to use this as the form. Formula, and of course, they can plug in the benefits using what we have here. So how to shed pounds effortlessly without sacrificing your precious time as a busy small business owner. Perfect. How to achieve your weight loss goals without neglecting your thriving business. That is a great one. I think that is um, just straightforward, simple without neglecting. That's a good thing because when you think about it, you know, as a business owner, usually you want to have that as such a big priority that if you have another goal in mind, it kind of nags at you that like you're going to be taking away time from this. So I think that's a really good one. How to slim down and boost your confidence without compromising your entrepreneurial success. How to lose weight and stay energized without taking time away from growing your small business. How to effortlessly trim down without distracting from your small business priorities. How to melt away extra pounds without cutting into your busy schedule how to get lean and healthy without sacrificing your business's productivity and growth, uh, slimmer without jeopardizing your small business's hard-earned momentum. That's a really good one, especially this section without jeopardizing. I like that. How to conquer weight loss and look your best without diminishing your entrepreneurial spirit and how to drop unwanted weight and feel great without taking your focus off your small business success. So I think you can see why I like this one so much. And it's mainly due to the fact that this is just my favorite copywriting headline ever. I can't reiterate that enough. Not only can you use this, say, on a social media post, you can use it on a landing page. It works great as a headline for a sales letter. You could use even use for a subject line. You can use it sprinkled in as a benefit. Like if you are selling something, each of these, not all of them, but say like one of them could be a bullet point you know, in a series of bullet list, if you're doing that on a sales letter, you can use this for webinars. Like I talked about landing pages, you could use it somewhere on your website. If you're going to be using some type of copywriting in there, it's just very flexible. You can use it in so many spots. You can use it all over social media and pretty much anywhere where you have some type of creative or landing page. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. That is utilizing one of my favorite chat GPT prompts for copywriting which goes hand in hand with the headline formula, how to yay without boo, as Frank Hurd would say. Uh, thank you so much for watching. My name is James, and I will see you in my next video.